Hello everybody, my name's Ardendris, and welcome to Scratch and Itch. Today, we're taking a look at a game called Nom Nom. This game was made by Anais Sala, I believe. Yes, Anais Sala. I'm looking at the page on my phone. <laughs> Back in 2021 for the Great Autumn Game Jam. In this game, we play as a... I suppose like a little jam maker, <laughs> actually, yeah. The Great Autumn j Jam, we are making jam, I think. <laughs> We've got to make dishes that our customers will like and give them what they want. Well, that, that's just like a pretty basic overview of what it, what's going on here. Right, let's just jump into it to see what we see what it's all about. Zero waiting in line. Customers will talk about the things they like when ordering. Hey, you there. Listen to this. I like red. I love nature things. I want something savory. Color and charm preferences is for jam. Taste preferences is for the dish ser to serve it with. You will prepare the jam first and then serve it in on dish. Sparkles are decorative. They don't have any effect on the ratings. You can check their order on the contacts app on the phone. The clock is ticking. Checks the day's progress from the clock on the wall. Then we have a phone here. <laughs> Just so prepare. I click this button, I'm assuming. Okay, so they like red, so I'm assuming, yeah, apple, okay, so it's red, orange, purple, apple's red, and they like nature, so I'm assuming that's the leaves, and then we can just add in sparkles if we want, sure, one, give me one second, I want to check on something real quick. Hope that's a little better. This game is like forced uh, full screen mode, so I can't actually seem like my OBS uh, information right now. So I wanted to go exit out of the game real quick and like check on the the sliders for that. And I think because it, it was sounded like it might be a little too loud. But anyways, pancakes, yogurts. Cheese board. Uh-oh. Uh, pancakes? Amazing! I like red! Woohoo! Nature things! What? This is not savory. Uh, I forgot what it was, so I was just like, uh... Sure. Quite good! I'll eat this and leave a review. Wolks. I was gonna say, hello, wolf friend. Hey, you there. Listen to this. I like orange. I love nature things. I want something savory. Okay, so let's try this again, shall we? So... He likes... Did he say orange? He said orange. I know he didn't say red. And I don't think he said purple. The orange nature and savory. That's I'm assuming the cheese board rather than uh, the yogurt. So cheese board, just a whole cheese board, just for the. Hmm. Hello. Hmm. Hello? This might be a wash if it's going to break like this <laughs> after two customers. Let's, uh, let's, let's do, let's restart then. <laughs> let's give this another shot. If it breaks again, we might be having to do something else. Oh, 
Okay, it has actually broken. Hmm. I'm having some tech issues with this game that are quite honestly leaving a bad taste in my mouth. I like the music. It looks very cute. But if you can't get your game to run right, don't give it to the public. <laughs> Like, there's no way to actually leave this game. I have to, like, I actually have to open up Task Manager to <laughs> close this game. Or, like, go through the Windows menuing. <laughs> so, um... Let's, uh... I'm gonna attempt reloading the game and starting from fresh. If that doesn't work, we're going on to something else. Okay, second time's the try. Let's... Customers will talk about the things they like when ordering, color and charm preferences for jam, taste preferences for the dish. Okay. Uh, we've already read through all that. Hello, Red Fox. Chubbs. Oh. Hello, would you make some jam for me? I like purple. I love nature things. I want something sweet. Okay. So, purple... Purple nature things? I'm just gonna add sparkles to everything. And I'm assuming sweets probably pancakes. Um... One second, I need to... <laughs> Ugh. Hmm. Beautiful and purple! Beautiful, beautiful nature things. Great! I was craving for something sweet. Great! I love it! Thank you! I'll come back. Thank you! Come again! Let's hope it doesn't break again. Oh, Chubbs. It has, like, a menu for what they like. There's a fishing thing here. Let's get to that in a second after we read this few review. Absolutely amazing. Everything was perfect. Come back tomorrow. Coming back tomorrow. A local favorite of the forest inhabitants, Nom Nom is the go-to place for any jam enjoyer. Delicious dishes topped with seasonal homemade jam for every type of paladar. Hey you there, listen to this. I like purple. I love nature things. I want something savory. I'll get to you in a second. <laughs> Every type of paladar. Full menu offered all day. Relaxing spa with a cozy atmosphere. Perfect stop to recovery energy. Purple nature savory. So can I just do this? Amazing! I like purple! Yay! Nature things! Oh my, oh my! Savory and tasty! Great, great, exactly what I wanted. I'll be back. Thank you, come again. The game didn't break this time. That's good news. And it seems like we haven't gotten another customer yet, so let's go into this. Oh, wait. Yeah. Hmm? Oh, that looked like the bobber got pulled under. Let's... <sighs> My timing on this is apparently pretty bad. Uh... Every time a new customer comes in, their contact is automatically saved on your phone. We got two reviews today. Absolutely amazing. Everything was perfect. Coming back tomorrow. Perfect amazing food. I ask and they give. Great. Coming back. Nom nom. <laughs> nomnom.com slash very important sl site slash place with reviews random numbers -la 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 -la. <laughs> cool so from here we can either go to bed or continue playing on our phone I want to see if I can get a hang of this like, fishing thing ha ah, you earned a golden star and oh Send that to Chubbs. Hmm? Hey, maybe? 
it doesn't want to. Uh, maybe that will, like, on a new day, it will get them to come in again. I'm not sure. But anyways, that was day one. Let's go into day two. I don't think this game has, like, a proper ending. We'll probably only go to, like, day three or so. Oh, we have people waiting in line this time. Wolks. Well, hello, hello. Let's see. I like red. I love space things. I want something savory. Okay, so red space on a... Red space on the board. Red stars, I'm assuming. Sparkles. And we'll even get to keep those between days. That goes on a cheese board. Yes, yes, it's red. Woohoo, space things. Oh my, oh my, savory and tasty. Great, great, exactly what I wanted. I'll be back tomorrow. Oh, I'll, I'll be back. I thought I was going to say tomorrow. Hey, chubs. Oh, hi, I'm here again. I like purple. I love nature things. I want something sweet. Okay, so exactly the same as last time. So we can just go in and do this. Beautiful and purple. Thank you for the nature things. Great, I was craving something sweet. Great, I love it. I'll come back. Oh, this is uh, Raccoon again. Rocky. Hey there, it's me again. I like purple. I love nature. I, I want something savory. Uh, is this just going to be the main gameplay loop? Just doing the same meals for the same people over and over again? And every, and every once in a while you get new characters? Amazing, I like purple. Yay, nature things. Look at all the savory food with a side of jam. Great, great. Exactly what I wanted. I'll be back. Before we take a look at this next customer, let's... Perfectly amazing... Nope, I wanted to look at the reviews first. Okay, never mind. Hey, you there. Listen to this. I like purple. I love nature things. I want something savory. Before we get on to that... Rocky. Perfectly amazing food. I ask and they give. Great, coming back. Absolutely amazing. Everything was perfect. Coming back tomorrow. Perfect amazing food. I ask and they give. Great, coming back. Okay, so these are going to be pretty similar all the time, too. He, and we just used the same jam for three of our customers and the other jam for another one. Also, I hope... Amazing, I like purple. Mm, yes, I love nature things. Oh my, oh my, savory and tasty. Night. Oh, yes, yes, sure. I'll leave a review. Bye. Perfect amazing food. I asked you to give. Great coming back. <laughs> okay. Uh, poor bear didn't even get to eat. When we go into the next day, this is gonna disappear, right? We didn't break the game again. <laughs> um, we're gonna give this game one more day. Assuming it doesn't break. <laughs> this is very sweet, very cozy. But it seems liable to break. And it seems, uh, more than a little bit repetitive. Like, we can just use the same jam for all of our customers, basically, except for one. Okay, it disappeared. I was like, did it really just break again? They just merged together. Dee Dee! Aww! Hey, would you take my order, please? I'm hungry. I like purple. I love space things. I want something savory. We haven't used a yogurt yet, so purple stars on a on a uh, cheese board. Purple stars. On a cheese board. Amazing, I like purple. Yay, space things! I'm drooling over this savory dish of delicious food. 
Great, great, exactly what I wanted. I'll be back. Wolks, hey, hey, it's me. I'm back. I like red. I love space things. I want something savory. Okay, so we just go back to this jam, put it on a cheese board. It seems like everyone but like one person wants a cheese board. Yes, yes, it's rare. Woohoo, space things. Oh my, oh my, savory and tasty. A lot of these are just the same over and over again. Exactly what I wanted. Yeah. Like, hello again, Chubbs. Chubbs. Oh, I've been calling him Chubbs. It's Chubbs, isn't it? <laughs> Oops, sorry. <laughs> Purple nature, savory. Or sweet, rather. Pancakes for you. I think you're a new character. Beautiful and purple. Thanks for the nature things. I'm so happy this is sweet. Oh, I love it. Thank you, and I'll come back. Seems like these days are getting longer. Hello, other fox friend. Choco, aww. Hi, will you take my order? I like red. I love spooky things. I want something sweet. So, red ghosts. Oops. Red ghosts. Who those? On pancakes. <gasps> oh, it's so cute! Yes, this is red! I love that they're spooky. I love that they're spooky things. I'm so happy this is sweet. Great, I love it. Thank you. I'll come back. Hey there, it's me again. Oh, you're new. I like purple. I love nature things. I want something savory. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so does basically everyone that comes here, apparently. Amazing. Yeah. Same thing. Slightly changed, but more or less the same thing over and over again at this point. Oh, there's our bear friend that we didn't actually get to talk to. Nada! Hey there! I would like to eat something. I like purple. I love nature things. I want something sweet. Purple nature's... <laughs> purple nature on something sweet. It was just using the same jam, like, for six customers or something like that. <laughs> Beautiful and purple. I love na those nature things. Yes, this is very sweet. Great. I love it. Thank you. I'll come back. Moko. Hey, it's me. I'm back. I like purple. I love nature things. I want something savory. So, same jam. On the cheese board. Yes, yes, it's purple. Woohoo, nature things. Oh, look at all that savory food with a side of jam. Great, great, exactly what I wanted. I'll be back. I love how they hold it above their head. Oh, hello, their little bear friend. Ash. Oh. Hey, would you take my order, please? I'm hungry. I like red. Ooh, red. I love spooky things. I want something savory. Red ghosts on... So we already have that jam. Red ghost on a cheese board. Hey, look, it's red. Spooky things. Look at all that savory food with a side of jam. Great, great, exactly what I wanted. I'll be back. I guess we have time to look at reviews. Perfect amazing food, absolutely amazing, everything was perfect. Perfect amazing food, absolutely amazing, everything was perfect. Absolutely amazing, everything was perfect. Perfect amazing food, I ask. Perfect amazing food, uh, perfect amazing food. These are all the same. Okay, so, as soon as this day is done, I think we're ending off, uh, ending off. <laughs> this game is very cute, very cozy, but very, very repetitive. <laughs> like, I don't... I, I was looking at the 
itch page for itch.io page for this and there's no like actual ending or win but you can lose yeah from what i was looking at you can lose if customers happy with their order they will turn tomorrow you can lose if you get bad reviews three days in a row but it seems almost impossible to get bad reviews three days in a row Unless you just, like, don't do anything, I'm assuming. So, yeah, you could technically just keep this going for forever. Which, uh... Yeah. We're obviously not gonna do that. We could keep going for, like, 17 more days, 27 more days, 30... I, I don't know why I was going up day 7s, so I guess so, it was, like, even 10s. We, we could go up to, like, day 1,000 and probably get nothing really new. It's still just going to be the same jams a bunch of times for the same people every day. But yeah. Good for a little bit of fun uh, uh, for a little while. A little prone to breaking. Or at least... That leaf just flew through a wall. Yeah. Very cute. Not entirely polished and very repetitive, though. But, anyways, still enjoyable. For a little while, at least. Very much is like, you want to do something cozy, repetitive, and you don't really care about thinking that much. Which, yeah, it's nice to have one of those games on hand. But, anyways, I have no idea how long it's actually been, because my timer is blocked. Let's see. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes. Yeah. I do have another game lined up for this. Episode of Scratch and Itch. I, I don't know how long it's going to be. But, sure. Let's, I, I guess we'll get into that. So, this has been Nom Nom by, uh... Aeis Sala, right? Uh, Aeis Sala, I think? I forgot the name. And Aeis Sala. Very cute, very repetitive. But anyways, it's... We, I have another game that's... I think gonna be... Not exactly the same, but pretty similar? Lined up. So... Let's jump into that. Hello, and welcome to For Exposure. <laughs> uh, that's not how I was gonna... But this is not how I... I started it before. Yeah, so I've recorded this already. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna end up splicing this to the end of Nom Nom. But I've already recorded this. I recorded the first three days of this game, just like I did for Nom Nom. But this game is in forced uh, full screen mode, and I don't currently have a second monitor. So I couldn't see my OBS uh, preview as it was showing a blank screen the entire time until I went to watch the video file before uploading. Glad I did that at least. So, we're going through this again. Anyways, this is for exposure. It's really certain pretty it's pretty similar in like basic goals wise as Nom Nom. We play a young witch who owns a potion shop and we have to give the customers what they want whenever they come in to get uh, uh to get a potion from us to help solve a problem. This game is made by Yellow Crow, Yellow Crow Games. I would go through the entire credits of the other people behind it, but we're we're gonna see those when we end off, anyways. <sighs> so yeah, we play a young witch in a shop. I like this game. Wish I didn't have to re-record it. So let's let's get into it. <laughs> I, I'm I'm more than a little defeated right now. And my keyboard has decided to stop working. Great. I need... 
Tech issues are plaguing me today. There we go. That was probably picked up, wasn't it? Sorry. I had to unplug and re-plug it back in. Here's Froger. I've met Froger already, but let's... Sorry, sorry. I'll, I'll get in the mood to go through this. Greetings, are you the witch saleswoman that just set up shop here? Yes, what can I do for you today? You see, I love the taste of flies. Delectable, really. However, I recently learned about the cruelty of the fly-keeping industry. The horror! I said to have immediately henceforth started today, starting today, decided to go vegan. Never again will I eat a fly! <laughs> anyway, I was wondering if you could maybe, mayhaps, be able to craft a charming concoction to make my cereal taste like flies? What a coincidence, I have the exact thing you need. Head to the lectern to try and find a recipe for a potion to suit this man's needs. Oh. I know where everything is, but let's do a quick tour. Here we have the greenhouse. With mandrake roots. No, mandrake. Uh, Venus flytrap. Magic beans. There's nothing really outside here. Down here. We have a bat friend, and a spider friend, and a frog friend. I like our, I like our animal friends. Cauldron, different workstations. We have a little rat friend down here, as well as some more ingredients. Bats, wings, tentacles, eyeballs, that type of stuff. Like a literal black hole just hanging out in our room, or in our house, and in our bedroom up here. With like a little dancing flower. There's actually one on the main floor too. Right here. Anyways, let's take a look at the lectern. As a newly started business, you only have one recipe so far. Read it carefully to find the ingredients needed. Potion of Taste Like Flies. Made from the plant that loves to chew. No flies were harmed in the making of this brew. Gather the ingredients needed and head downstairs to put them in a the cauldron. Doop. When you're ready, interact with the cauldron to make the potion. Then you can bring it to the customer. So, one Venus flytrap equals a potion of taste like flies. Here you go. Oh, I didn't even notice, like, he did the little <gasps> heart face. With a, with a heart above his head. Here you go. It's potion. It smells exactly like flies. Are you sure it's vegan? Ribbit. Yep, all natural ingredients, fresh from the greenhouse. Perfect! You know you could be a business juggernaut with skills like that. Tell you what, I'll put some strings, use some of my connections. Perfect. Maybe see if we can't get this lovely little potion shop on the map. I'm, I'm off to eat my cereal! I mean, payment would be nice! <sighs> oh well... It's the end of the day. Head to the bed to get a good night's sleep. Ready for more customers tomorrow. Yeah. As you can see, payment's gonna be a bit of an issue in this game. <laughs> this is a gorgeous establishment. One might even call it vibey. Dang, because I put a lot of effort into this outdoorsy area. Yeah, it honestly looks like a cafe from the outside. I was worried that I'd come to the wrong place at first. I mean, how am, how am I supposed to decorate a potion shop? Giant vials everywhere? Doop, doop, doop. Social media. A computer. Exposure 3. Absolutely adore my new potion. My cereal tastes amazing. Everyone should go to Fixer Elixir. And there's like a little tiny uh, social media feed here. My, my, my hive brand toaster is broken. Please send help. Any bands looking for a lead vocalist? My DMs are open. Email. Rent due. Dear Witch, you have not paid your rent for several months. Please pay if you wish to keep your shop running. Regards, Landlord. Sent from my hive phone. 
Hello, dancing flower friend. <gasps> oh my god, I didn't notice you. <gasps> look at the baby owl. Oh, look at the cute little baby owl in the baby bat below us. I like owls. I know I like bats. Bats and owls are cute. Anyways. Closer media, sleep, or finish demo. We're not going to do finish demo just yet. We're going through for the first three days again. Sleep. You can talk to your customers before and after serving them by checking the tables outside the front door. Head to the front desk downstairs to open your shop for the day. Oh. Things are different now. We're... In the top left, we see our customers to serve list, and that is a different list than it was in the daily recording. Right. Open shop. Hello, Strawberry. I don't remember your name. Strawberry Kid. Strawberry. It is just Strawberry. I forgot. <laughs> okay, then. Hi, are you the witch who just set up shop here? Yes, yeah, another customer. I've been looking for a magical mentor. Do you think you could help? I'm not super experienced in spellcasting, but I could try and brew a potion to solve your problem. Add to the lectern to try and find a recipe. Add to the lectern to try and find a recipe for a potion to suit this customer's needs. More recipes have been added to your spellbook. You can flip through the pages to the left and the right. Potion of Taste Like Flies, Potion of Vocal Exercises, Potion of Wizardry, Potion of Awake, and Potion of Incognito. That's still the same. Anyways. What we're gonna need here is probably the Potion of Wizardry. Wait. Well, I know it's the Potion of Wizardry, but based off the description, we need a spell for Wizardry, so go through that again. But where is it again? Here it is. Potion of Wizardry. In the seed before a beanstalk. In the leftovers after a star dies. Mix... Excuse me. Mix the two of these to cast a spell before your very own eyes. You can prep the ingredients at the different ingredient stations found in the kitchen. Directly prepping the ingredients will let you make a higher quality potion. Okay, it doesn't actually say what we need to do to them. The beanstalk's probably the seed. It is the seed before a uh, beanstalk. Uh, a magic bean is the seed that come that a beanstalk comes from. Um, I guess mortar and pestle. Sure. And the leftovers from a star are not stardust, because I've made that mistake. I don't know why. I know scientifically, the stars leave behind black holes when they implode. But for whatever reason, during my first playthrough of this, the one that got messed up, I went with stardust instead, because I was like, oh, this is the dust of a leftover star. Nope, nope, it's looking for a black hole here. Um... Let's just chop up a black hole. What could go wrong? <laughs> and brew. Oh yeah. The potions have faces. Still not a fan of it. Here you go. Oh, cute little heart. This is magical. I could be a natural magician th with this. I'm really glad it worked out. I believe you'll be an amazing mage one day. Someday. Hello again, Froger. You're quite a bit taller than both of these two. Although, I suppose we're human. And this is a frog, and I'm not entirely sure if this kids just a kid in a strawberry costume if they're literally just some sort of strawberry being. Oh, am I allowed to sit here? Of course. Why would I set up the chairs if customers weren't allowed to sit here? Uh, I don't know. I just wanted to make sure it was allowed. Just in case. Anyway. Hey, Froger again. Greetings. I have another request for you, Ribbit. Welcome back. What can I do for you today? 
You see, I consider myself something of an incredible vocalist. My croaks are known worldwide, and I want them to be even better. Ribbit. Have you tried singing lessons? Well, singing lessons charge. You don't. Ribbit. I'm sure I, this frog could afford them, but... Sure, I'll help. Head to the lectern to try and find a recipe. There was. Where is it? The potion of vocal exercises. None of the other potions. Really would make much sense here, so... Get the plant that screams like a choir. Take the melody straight from the stars. Uh, if you didn't know anything about Mandrake Root on this one, if you didn't know anything about any of these plants or any of the ingredients here, I could actually see this one being a bad thing. A, 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 a harder one. But if you do know anything about magical plants, Mandrakes are kind of known for their scream, aren't they? Toss that in there. And straight from the star, so that's going to be the stardust. We only have a total of nine ingredients in this game, which isn't a whole lot, but it is more than Nom Nom. And it, this game feels quite a bit more on hands-on. I can with the faces in the bottles, I don't like it. Here you go, Froger. Here you go. It's potion. Why, it's music to my ears. The bubbles bounce and burst in beautiful ballads. Ribbit. I'm so glad it's right. It's immaculate. I have to run off to my singing recital, but I'll be sure to thank you in my Grammy acceptance speech. <laughs> Croak. It's the end of the day. Head to the bed to get a good night's sleep. Twee. Also, I love the beanbag chair. I'm fairly certain this is some sort of beanbag chair. Social media. Very magic potion. Lovely. Good job, Fixer Alex Roll. They make amazing potions. Oh, apparently we only got two stars in both of them. Feed. Re rent deal. Dear Witch, I have heard the news of you successfully serving a customer at your shop. Your business performing well would reflect nicely on my property. Obviously, your rent not dismissed. However, I hope that your business succeeds so that you can pay me back. Kind regards, Landlord. Landlord at MewMewMail.com Sent from my hive phone. Anyways, let's go to sleep. Exposure gained, 405. Correct potions made, too. Let's sleep and go on to the third and final day for us. Um... Hey. Interesting. We got Froger and... I know who that is. But it wasn't the group of customers I was expecting, actually. Like, in the first run, I only... Uh, I only made two potions for Froger, and this one we're going to make three. Anyways, let's open the shop. Hello again, Froger. Hey, Froger, what's up? Remember how you helped my singing? My fame has reached new levels. It's incredible! Except it's actually awful. My fans are everywhere. I can't find any peace and quiet. Can you get me a potion to help me avoid my crazy fans? Pretty please. Head to the lectern to try and find a recipe. Hmm. Actually, I actually haven't seen this one. Potion of vocal exercises, potion of wizardry, potion of awake, potion of incognito. It's probably that one. It's the only one that really makes sense. The Potion of Incognito. If moving unseen is what you desire, use a piece of heavenly fire. To sneak around and cause no alarm, chop up, chop up a piece of the Kraken's arm. So the heavenly fire is the meteorite, I'm fairly certain. Don't really think there's anything else that would make sense of our nine ingredients. I guess we would crush this up? Yeah, I, I, I don't really foresee juicing a meteor or chopping up a meteor going well, so... 
And then Kraken Arm is gonna be a tentacle. Let's chop this up. We Brew? Yeah, this potion doesn't have a face. I think that's a good thing, actually. Here you go. This, now this is perfect. These fans will never find me now. But I thought you wanted to become famous. I did, but it's not all it's cracked up to be. You see, that's the moral of the story. I'm sure that moral affects you somehow. Ta-ta! Yeah, somehow. If only my sprite could roll its eyes. <laughs> Breaking the fourth wall there a bit, huh, game? Bye, Froger. Hello, bee friend. Or fairy friend. Probably a fairy friend. It kind of looks like a bee, though. Especially in the top left. Hello, I'm Abby. Always delivering quality service with a smile. What can I help you with today? Shouldn't it be me that's asking you that? I, uh... uh listen, hon. I'm super tired from working all day. I just need a quick shot of espresso, please. This isn't a coffee shop, but she seems exhausted. I'll see what I can do. Head to the lectern, try and find a recipe. Hello, bad friend. Um... Potion of Awake. Brown the coffee beans, then add a spoonful of star sugar. Stir then serve hot. Not even really a riddle, it's just like, make coffee. We don't actually have coffee beans though, we only have these magic beans, so this will have to do. Let's grind these up. Place this. And we can't actually adjust the heat, so I think we have to go all the way up. And then it's star sugar. The only thing star related besides the black hole is the star dust, so I'm fairly certain. Grind this up. And throw it in and brew some coffee. Give. Here you go. This scent, the rich aroma, the milk to roast ratio, it's the perfect cuppa. Thanks. At least if this potion business doesn't work out, I could be a barista. It's the end of the day, head to the bed. Okay. So let's take a quick look at social media, then we're gonna head to bed. Very pog. Thank you, Froger, ever so much. Quality service would recommend. Hello, followers, Abby. Channel flies 94. If you purchased a faulty hive product, please do not DM me. I am only an, a sales per assistant. Please DM hive support. I hadn't actually seen that one before. And nothing new in the email, so. So. We're gonna go to bed. And click finish demo. We could keep going, and we'd actually meet a few new characters. But I think you kind of get a feeling for the game. Let's finish up the demo. Team lead and animator, Amy Coates Walker. Lead artist and animator, Henry Neff. Concept slash 2D asset as artist, Rebecca Beattie. Concept and 2D asset artist, Sandra Slava. Lead dip programmer and designer, Ewan Fisher, I think, or is it Ewan? I think it's Ewan, right? Sound designer and programmer, Caleb Sargent. Producer and designer, Rhiannon Nash. Producer and designer, Adam Milliken. This has been For Exposure. That's the end of For, uh, for Expo Exposure, and I think that's going to be the end of this episode of Scratch and Itch. I'll leave uh, links down in the description for both Nom Nom and for for Hexposure, if you want to check out either of these games for yourself. And I hope to see you next time. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed as much as I have, and I hope to see you next time. So, without further ado, take care, everyone. <laughs>